Electronic waste or e-waste describes loosely discarded, surplus, obsolete or broken electrical or electronic devices that cannot be reused. The cause of electronic waste is especially technology evolution that leaves certain electronics less efficient resorting to their discarding by users in favor of new technology. I've already gone through their lifespan um, or outdated out of technology. Um, probably spoiled cannot be reused again and you find that uh, the item is bulky. Compare these machines, for example, a video cassette recorder or a DVD player, an electronic cooker or a microwave, a monitor or a TFT screen, and receiving an email or getting faxed. New technology always comes with the advantage of better quality, more efficiency, sometimes smaller and more portable, making it more desirable. Uh, the TV and the, the will be completely an e-waste, the one outdated ones. We have the bulky ones, we remember the ones that had hooded. And uh, a car will not classify it as much as an e-waste. It can still be made, it can still be used, it can still be made usable. Developing countries are slowly becoming more affected by e-waste than developed countries as they are less technologically advanced, making them a dumping ground for the West. Many environmentalists view this as toxic dumping and attribute it to lack of legislation restricting the importation of certain obsolete technology. Poverty is also a major cause of attractiveness of such machines in the third world. If certainly the, the economy will pick up, uh, the economic level goes up, the investment, uh, employment level goes up, you'll find that the disposable income within the population will also go up. And once the disposable income goes up, certainly the consumers will be looking at buying a new item. Manufacturers are working on introducing products that are more affordable and that discourage counterfeits. In the next few years, with the digital migration, for example, it is expected that millions of TV sets will be disposed. The total analog TV sets in this country currently stands at around approximately 10 million. Uh, and imagine 10 million TV sets disposed of at once. So these are certainly a challenge ahead. There are various problems associated with the dumping of e-waste. This e-waste contains some billions of pounds of hazardous materials, including lead and mercury, plus more than 1,000 different toxic substances harmful to human beings and the environment, thrown into landfills like the Dandora dumping site. These substances leak and can eventually pollute groundwater. The solution, according to experts, is for underdeveloped countries to come up with legislation that specifies chemicals, substances to be imported, as well as the quality of electronic products getting into the country. The local authorities as well as consumers must also be well informed of how to dispose this waste in a way that they do not pollute the environment. Even what we're already having, the normal home use garbage, we are already having a problem to how we dispose it of currently. So uh, e-waste is a completely different dimension. Do we even have the mechanism to dispose it of? Do we have the equipment? Do we have the technical know-how? Do we have the expertise? Do we have the consultant and advisors to, to advise our councils on how to collect them? Manufacturers must also ensure that they produce goods that are environmentally friendly. Now, considering that the country has over 10 million analog television sets, it has over 10 million mobile sets as well as other electronic appliances, all with the potential of becoming e-waste, it is important that systems are kept in place that can guard such a situation in future. Reporting for Channel 1 Bizwick, I am Kamaumbote.